Innan jag körde igång, um, all min musik, eller ja, nästan i alla fall, finns på min hemsida. Om någon känner sig sugen så lägger jag lappar med adressen där. Ta inte bara för att du tycker synd om mig. <laughs> All right. Är du med eller borta? Cool, cool. Jag ska köra eh, lite spoken word och eh, lite det som inte är spoken word. Och eh, då börjar jag väl helt enkelt. I'm absolutely sure about most things. Uh, think. Most things are very clear to me, most of the time. At least I thought I knew all the right answers. The thoughts were always complex and carefully formed in total confusion. And therefore, my clarity became insanity in the eyes of those we refer to as normal and average. I salvaged the thoughts and thought this was the right passage, the right way. But it was obvious that this brain, body, and face was just misplaced and disgraced by this race we call human animals. I live to elevate because my passion is life, while you live to penetrate, living because you simply exist. You're driven by hormones, you're lost and filthy, living in a spiritual gutter, attacking every word I utter because deep down you know I'm right. And it's in the midst of all this confusion that I come to the conclusion that no matter how confused I might become from these ping pong thoughts, it will always be clear to me that we stand on separate sides on this line which divides us. It's this line which invites us to clash in fierce attacks with spears and traps and fears of facts resulting in tears and cracks. But still you're standing way over there waving with your beers and black Screaming, Britney Spears is whack! And then you go home and jerk off while listening to Hit Me Baby One More Time. <laughs> and that's all you'll ever be. A walking and talking ejaculation, waiting to squeeze. Squirting in the first mouth that opens behind closed curtains. Then you start cursing when the same slut swallows bodily fluids from the next person. You were deluding yourself, thinking you were the first and now you're pissed off because your so-called game was just an illusion. Now, my elevated conscience might seem like nonsense and, well, maybe it is. But so far, what you've proven to me is none less than what my opinion is about you. So you just go right ahead and call me judgmental and self-righteous. Because it's somewhere along the line of these really confusing thoughts that it strikes me You're all idiots. Jag har lite knarkad historia också. This is a love and hate relationship. A fusion of many forces. With no laws or clauses, a cause of events with no pauses. Contrast from black to white, a spectrum of emotions. Sending me from wrong to right, I feel like I'm riding the oceans. In the beginning it wasn't a big deal, because I was just curious about it. But the desire escalated to the point where I couldn't live without it. But first things first, I want to tell you how it caught me. Then explain the pain it caused me and the spiritual freedom it brought me. I was lured by mumbling my masters, forcing his drug upon me. Slowly but surely, turning me into a zombie. At first I didn't realize the full potential of this stimulant. I thought I was so smart, but obviously I was just ignorant. The rush felt so powerful and intense I couldn't resist it. The drug made me want to breathe again, live life and uplift it. And no matter how much I wanted to resist it, and still insist it. Now I was fully convinced with a belief hard to match. And it became a lot harder to get this, cause I needed cash So I kept the secret stash if I ever needed it badly But even that had a limit, so as we pass to the second verse Sadly, I'll tell you about the rage I was struck with Every time I moved it was a confirmation And my mind and body was thought from this drug And now it's slowly deteriorating And soon everything around me became real irritating Everything in my life became a constant waiting I was the past, maybe when it crashed, maybe when it smashed Everything in sight, sometimes I just 
wanna recite and wish that I could rewrite the past along with thought ignorance. I wish I could fast forward to a more pleasant experience. This addiction had to become a battle between logic and nonsense, a classical fight, which be both for our technic offspring. The offspring to fall this was just more anger than bitterness. Sometimes it even happens that I forget how long I've been in this. Sometimes I wish I could blast from this earth and pass this curse. A lot of people are suffering from this. I last the first. It's an individual struggle, each and every one hustles. It makes you want to rip yourself in and out and chew your muscles. I need to gain strength to be able to get myself out of this. I really want to, but those nice moments feel like a flower's kiss. I say focus on what I can catch and devour this. I empower this. Rock and roll for the mental instincts. The fiends empty the bash for now. Then you'll switch our beats, but we'll run into the other one. Went by. I became strong and confident Just by using common sense and a shrink as a compliment I often went outside I spent a lot of my time contemplating And confiscating all the parts of myself that I lost Thinking this drug gave me great pleasure But at what cost and what degree of self pity was out when I hit the bottom Many of these thoughts went through my mind and inside like bottom I suddenly realized that I was now free from the change Life had started up when I was through with playing games I cleared all the lanes and broken free from all the drains but it didn't take long until I met a friend from back in the days Who was so lost he didn't even keep track of the days I couldn't help but word and ask what he had been up to He just looked at me and said, how could you give it up to? I noticed he was looking weird and he had one hand in his pocket The other one holding the cord and stretching for a socket He gave me one of the two units to put in my ear And I couldn't help it even though I was full of remorse and fear A tear ran down my cheek and now I was in heaven again As I took another dose of that drug we call hip hop Tack. Det är den killen som inspirerade mig till att gå upp på scen, faktiskt. Ni borde applådera för honom. Jag kallar honom Daniel Bet, jag kan inte uttala hans efternamn, jag är ledsen. Boja Siglo! Okej, Boja Siglo, så nu har vi det sen. Okej, ehm... Då skulle jag vilja slakta mänskligheten lite grann. Med hjälp av virus. 